Hello and welcome back to the Solopreneur Insights series where I share with you the real time behind the scenes of growing my two online businesses from my online coaching business to my app Startup Spotlight. I am taking you along for the journey, taking you along for the ride and sharing with you the lessons that you can apply to your own business. In today's video, we are talking about that idea that nobody wants to be sold to and we are going to completely destroy that, completely dismantle that for you because it is complete BS. It is not true. And I'm gonna to explain to you exactly why and really help you shift your perspective around sales. Because at the end of the day, sales is the lifeblood of your business. If you are not selling, you are not going to make sales. So it is one of the most important skills for you to really be nurturing and learning how to sell essentially effectively. Um, and also you really need to make sure you have that confidence behind it because if you're going into sales, without confidence, it is gonna just come out as a little whisper and no one is actually gonna hear you talking about your amazing offers that you spent years and months creating. So we wanna make sure you're actually confident selling and you're going out with confidence and with strategy as well. And that is what we are aiming to do today. So we're gonna completely dismantle this idea that no one wants to be sold to. So to start this off, let's go back right to the roots of what selling actually is. So selling is simply just an exchange of goods or services where you're able to help someone who has a specific problem or is looking for a specific thing. So in a very much day-to-day -day example, if you have back pain and you are going to a pharmacy to ask for medication for your back pain and they advise you on which one they think would be best for you and you purchase that medication to fix your back pain, that is sales right there. A sale has occurred. Um, you have gone in with a specific problem and you have asked for a solution. They have advised you a solution because they are the expert in the back pain medication, not you necessarily. And you have purchased that and you are now going to improve your back pain, which was your problem that you came in with. This sounds like such a simple and just normal example that this is something we can usually really easily wrap our heads around versus when we then get into the online space and we're talking about online sales and selling our services in particular where there's not a physical, tangible thing, then it can sometimes feel a little bit more messy for us and a little bit more mucky around that. So we're gonna really be talking around that specifically today. So again, with that example of the back pain, pulling that into the online space, if for example, you are a mindset coach who is specializing in imposter syndrome and is helping people who feel massive imposter syndrome, they're really, really struggling to show up online because of this imposter syndrome and you are someone who helps with that. You're a mindset coach specifically focused on this area. And if your ideal client is wandering around the internet and they come across your posts talking about imposter syndrome, they really, really resonate. Then they come to you asking, hey, how can I work with you? I have this imposter syndrome. It's really, really holding me back right now. And you were just to talk them through, you know, what your services look like, how you can help them. And then they were to purchase your course, for example, walking them through how they can end their imposter syndrome for good. That is a sale. The same kind of process as the back pain example has just occurred in the online space. It looks exactly the same, exactly the same thing has happened. So why do we treat it so differently to these real life physical products which we're purchasing? The reason usually comes down to the fact that we're selling our services, we're selling essentially our work, we're selling our time, we're selling our expertise, knowledge, our brain. And essentially then we are so personally connected to this that it can sometimes feel just a little bit uncomfortable trying to have that conversation and that sales conversation and trying to advise someone what would be best versus for example, the back pain medication, that pharmacist, they did not create that product. They have no affiliation to that product. They are not bothered whatsoever whether you purchase that product, whether you purchase a different brand, they could not care less. They're just there doing their job and they're just advising you what they think would be best. So they don't have that personal connection. So it feels very, very clean. It feels very easy and it feels very simple versus when we're bringing in our feelings, which just naturally are going to come in in the sales process when we're selling services online, that's when it starts to feel different and it starts to feel a little bit more sticky. And we start to sometimes have these idea that selling is very salesy. It feels a little bit icky and you know people don't want to be sold to. So we kind of hide away in the the corners of the internet. We, again, really whisper about our offers and we're kind of in the corner whispering about, hey, I've got this thing over here, but I don't wanna to talk too loudly about it. I don't wanna disrupt anyone. I don't want anyone to feel like I'm being pushy. So I'm gonna just sit back over here and not talk about my offers. And then the cycle continues of we don't get clients from this, we wonder why it's not working, and so many people end up having to quit their businesses just because of sales, just because of this one piece that was missing here. And it all comes down to this belief at its core that 
people don't want to be sold to, that we need to hide away because we're doing a you know bad thing and it feels icky for us to go out and talk about our offers and just really shout about them from the rooftops essentially. We have this idea that we need to be quiet, we need to be hidden away because people don't want to be sold to and that is completely untrue. I want you to think about a specific example where you've hired someone in the online space, where you've had a specific problem and then you've hired someone to help with that. Has that at any point felt like an icky kind of service exchange for you? Was that instead actually a case where you came in with a specific problem, aka the back pain, and then you found this specific person who was able to help you with that, aka the pharmacist, you saw them talking through how they could help people, talking them through you know, what their offers were, talking about their client results, talking about what that product can do versus this one that they have instead, why they are the best person to help you with this. That is the job that the pharmacist did in the back pain example. That is exactly the same thing. And actually it makes it feel really good then when you are able to purchase from them, when you're able to solve that problem, if it's the imposter syndrome, for example, you're able to actually solve that imposter syndrome and you feel really good when you're able to get into that program, get that knowledge, get that expertise and actually solve that problem once and for all and then continue with your life in a so much easier and simpler way because this problem is not present for you anymore. The real truth behind the idea that people don't want to be sold to is yes, people don't want to be sold to in a certain way. People don't want to be sold to in a way that feels really pressurized, in a way that feels really boring, in a way where they're not able to see what a certain offer includes or they can't understand why it's gonna be really helpful for them. But on the flip side of that, people do want to be sold to when you are selling from a place of pure excitement and confidence around your offer, when you are fully showcasing all the amazingness that comes with that, when you are making it really, really clear who this is for, when you are making it clear what problem is this actually solving, what is this helping someone to achieve, what actually is that missing piece, what is that transformation you are giving them. That energy is actually really contagious and I guarantee you right now, some of your favorite people online, they are selling and shouting their offers from the rooftops. They are so confidently speaking about their offers and that is one of the reasons why they are so magnetic to you is they are so confident they have such full belief and faith in what they are doing and they are sharing about it so unapologetically and that is one of the reasons why you're so attracted to them versus instead when you are seeing that person who is clearly not super confident in their offers they are kind of whispering about their offers they're hiding them away behind the scenes they're telling you a little bit about them but you don't really even have the information to make a buying decision they're not showing you you know all the offers that are available everything that you can choose from they're not explaining why this one is the right one for you versus product B and who is the best fit for different ones what is the actual transformation you're going to get when they're not actually giving you that full information because they're hiding away from selling so much you do not feel confident enough to actually invest and that's when the selling doesn't feel good because they're kind of just throwing up the basic details they're not really actually helping you to make a decision and they're not actually helping you to solve a problem at the end of the day they're just giving you more information you can kind of see now where this is relating to how you might be showing up online it can be a little bit of a paradox of the more you're concerned about selling feeling bad and not wanting to sell and you know the idea that nobody wants me to sell my offers and I need to hide them away the less likely people are to actually buy from you and the less likely people are actually going to enjoy seeing you sell in the first place the more you can actually bring up your confidence and really embody that and really just be excited about your offers and just share them from a genuine human excitement place, really giving people the details, giving people all the information they need to actually make a real buying decision and make a, you know, come up with a solution to their problems and actually be able to showcase that you can help them with that and genuinely get them to a place where they're able to see that and able to then get off the fence and make a decision that is when selling becomes really good because you're just solving people's problems and you're just helping them out it's never a case of being pushy it's never a case of being you know forceful at all with sales because all you're doing is showing exactly who this thing is for. If someone was to come into the, you know, back pain example again, if someone was to come into that store and say, I have back pain and someone was to talk through all of the medication they had available in that pharmacy, they would know exactly what was for them because they'd know that the cream 
for, you know, their feet is not the one that they should be putting on their back. They can see exactly what is clearly for them and they're able to make a really good decision versus if the pharmacist wasn't really telling them the details, was saying, oh yeah, this can kind of help with pain, um, all of these, I'm not sure which one's really gonna be best for you though, and not really telling them the details, they're never gonna be able to make a decision and they're just gonna leave with the same problem and the worst thing is they're just gonna go somewhere else, they're gonna go to the next pharmacy along and they're just gonna get their problem solved somewhere else. So is it really true that no one wants to be sold to? Absolutely not. Your people are wanting you to sell to them. They are already following you, they are subscribed to your channel, they are liking all of your posts because they have a specific problem, because your content is already valuable and is already helping them to a micro extent with solving that problem. They want you to sell to them, they want to know how you can help solve their problems. And then it's completely up to them on whether they're making the decision to actually jump into that or not jump into that program, but they cannot make that decision, they cannot even start thinking about making that decision until they have all the information they need, until they know all of the details, until they know exactly how it can help them, whether it's actually for them, what is it actually going to look like inside that program. They cannot make the de details and decisions until they actually have all of that information. So here is your daily reminder and your challenge for the month. People in your audience actually want you to sell to them. What would it look like if you were to actually go out and fully, unapologetically, confidently sell your offers? Show up, talk about them, allow them to take up space, give them the stage time that they actually deserve and wholeheartedly go out and sell your offers with the intention of helping people figure out if that is the problem they are looking to solve right now and if that is the right container for them. You will be absolutely amazed with the results. So that is a wrap for today's video. Make sure you give it a like if you found this helpful and subscribe for more videos. I am putting out a new video every single week on Wednesdays. And please let me know in the comments, did this help in terms of shifting your beliefs around sales? And what are you challenging yourself to do in terms of showing up and selling over the next few weeks? Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.